Hey buddy, Crow here, and I had gotten some requests and questions asking if I was ever going to disassemble the Evercade EXP, since I did a video where I did that for the, the uh, original Evercade, and I wasn't planning on it. The only reason I did that video for the Evercade was because I had uh, wanted to replace the screen and try some other mods on it. And plus, I had a backup in case things did went wrong, and things did go wrong with that, but... I decided, you know what, I'm not going to take this apart unless I had a reason to. I kind of do have a reason to now, and once we get this thing apart, I'll kind of explain what that is. Plus, this, I think, is going to be way easier to disassemble than the original Evercade. So, let me get some stuff prepped up here, and uh, I will take this apart. I'm not really expecting this to be complicated anyway. Let me get a screwdriver. Well, actually, first, instead of a screwdriver... There's little plugs that are covering up these, um, oops, little plugs that are covering up these, uh, the screws here. And it's much easier than the original Evercade where you had to peel off the whole faceplate in order to uh, get that up. So I'm just going to kind of pry these out. If you just want to see this getting disassembled out of curiosity, I guess that's what it is. Um, or if you have a reason to, I guess, uh, and again, I have not disassembled this before. I don't know what to expect. Don't know what, uh, if I'm going to run into any issues, but yeah, just taking that out and you can see there's screws visible in there. So let's see if I can grab a bit that'll fit and yep, yeah, that'll work. So now that this is this, uh, gotten, I wonder if. It feels like it's still together somehow. Yeah, you can... Oh, there we go. Here we go. Ah, there we go. Okay, just need to get in far enough. I heard a click. It is snapped in there. I, I can see the, the the prong there. There it is. All right, so it is clipped in there, snapped in there. So even if the screws are out, it'll still be held together. Probably need to do the same on the other side here. There we go. And probably one more clip. Ah, there we go. Okay. So, we've got this. Oh, it looks like a button came out already. Um, oh, I see. So, ah, there I go. Lifting things up right there. There's a button. There's a couple buttons. All the buttons just kind of came out. So, maybe I could have lifted the back up first. But, uh, you know, take all these buttons out. Um, this D-pad here. This was the same time. I'm not going to take this D-pad out unless I want to. <laughs> That's how I figured out. But actually, what I need to do here is there's a uh, ribbon cable. So we're going to pop that to dis the disconnect the screen. I do just not in that kit. Okay, so we got that. So here we have the screen. I'm not going to pull the screen out. Um, but yeah, and then there's this the D-pad. And I couldn't figure out before how this was put in there because this is the same thing as the uh the original evercade and it, it's not obvious I, I think it's clipped i think it's clipped in there so this isn't coming out i'm really just going to kind of see briefly if i could pry that out ah okay yeah it, i think it's coming oh there it is okay yeah okay there it is that's how that is put together so yeah that is just kind of sandwich in there, you push it together, and that's what's been gripping it together. But yeah, just kind of pry it apart slowly and uh, it'll come apart. Yeah, that's this whole front part taken apart. I'm not taking the screen out, because um, mainly because I, I plan on putting this back together and I don't want to, it's probably got the sticky double-sided tape kind of holding that on. And um, yeah, I don't really want to mess with that, especially if I don't need to. Well, I guess I don't need to take the rest of this apart either, but here we go. I'm um, looking at screws. They're coming on. We got uh, one board here, one board here, one board here, at the very least. Um, we've got a wire connecting these two here. Yeah, there we go. It just kind of pops on there. It looks like it's uh, got a guiding thing, and I'm just going to leave that as is. But uh, we'll disconnect these other ribbons as well. Pop that. And pop that. All right. 
So we've got that, and that middle board has got to be the main board. Then these are for the buttons, and I don't know, like, where, oh, here they are. The speakers are, these, these are the speakers down here, down facing. So I guess we'll take out, um, I can't decide, oh, interesting with the shoulder buttons, how they keep, they keep kept in place here. They're actually screwed in. This whole thing is together. Is this, okay, I see, that comes right out. That comes right out. That's actually way better than the, the Game Boy Advance. That was a pain. <laughs> um, so I guess I'll take out, well, let's take out the other shoulder buttons. And I want to make sure that I'm keeping these separate because I, I don't want to mix up the back screws for the internal screws. Will this come out? You know what? I bet this won't come out until this board is out. So uh, I'm going to disconnect. This is up. Take out these screws too, just so they're even. It looks like three screws for this board here. All right. Now that we've got that out, can we just lift this out? Yep. The speaker is in there as well. So my hand needs to take the speaker out. No, nope. oh, I guess not. <laughs> I thought this, that speaker was connected to here, but it wouldn't make much sense. But yeah, we got that board out we'll leave that and then the left shoulder button the, the L, l2 or how's that labeled oh that's interesting it's got like a hinge here that's pretty interesting i haven't really seen a controller designed that way but it makes sense but then again i haven't really taken apart like every controller <laughs> um We'll take that out. Yeah, very easily it will come out. That's where our battery is. Uh, 3,000 milliamp. And <laughs> part of me is like, hmm, I wonder if I could put in a bigger battery. <laughs> uh, but I don't think you could put in a higher capacity battery without actually getting a bigger battery. Uh, and that's where I ran into the problem last time where I actually wound up cutting a hole in the case in order to fit that bigger battery just because I was really uh, bent on doing that. I don't want to do that with this one. So, and that, if anything, yeah, there's a, it's stuck. There's a sticker on the bo bottom there. Let's see if we could pry these speakers out. Yeah, there is definitely some sticky residue on there. So it's probably double sided tape again. Uh, same thing with this one, probably. It's got some padding in there. All right, let's just get the rest of this board out. And is that it? You can just get lifted up. Oh, there's a, it's interesting. There's a thermal pad here to keep something. That's probably where the processor is. I'm not sure what this plate, back plate, plate is here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, am I missing screw or is this kind of clipped into place somehow? Yeah, I think it's just kind of like it in a clipped underneath. So it doesn't, it won't move around even a after the screws are taken out. That's what it seems like. There we go. And, yeah, the thing that's holding this in now is the speakers. There we go. That's a lot easier to take out now. <laughs> oh, I see. It's connected to the battery as well. I'm willing to bet the, the speaker wider, wires are soldered on. Yeah, I can even see them. But the battery connection looks to be on the back. Yep, where the cartridge port is. And that usually can be plugged in and out. So we will see if we can grab that and pull that out. Very surprising that this is the toughest part so far. Ah, there we go. I had the death grip on that thing. Okay, so here, here's our main board. Hey, look at that. Here's Katie here. A winner is you. I guess there is a secret message in here after all. I really wasn't expecting to see one. Here is a... It's interesting. This is like a... I don't know what that is. It's Obviously, it looks like a square. It feels like a really light, kind of chalky tie. I don't really know. I've never seen anything like this. There's a... Um, obviously, maybe it's to transfer heat, because it's transferring heat that looks with the, with the plate... Because we had this like this. Um, CPU might actually be under here or under here, but it's transferring all the heat out of here through here, apparently, and then back to this plate here to dissipate the heat. 
<clears throat> so that's why if you're playing this thing and it's getting hot, and the heat is usually coming from this side because that's where all the heat is traveling through, apparently. I don't think I'm going to take this plate out. Don't really need to. I will actually try and get the battery out. Yeah, just um, this is sticky residue as well. Oh, you know, <laughs> there's a button here too. That's the power button. There we go. Get that power button and volume button out. Ah, there we go. Yeah, that, that's not a problem. That'll stay on there. That's sticky. That'll re-stick when we put it back in. But yeah, um, I'm going to take out that plate. That's the only remaining screws left in this thing, I believe. So that's the plate that guides the cartridge. Oh, you know, it's not a guide so much, but it's um, actually what you see. I guess that's preventing you from seeing uh, the rest of the circuit board. And I uh, flipped this over and something came flying out. This is, uh, oh, the light, the LED light that I kind of missed. This whole thing is pretty much disassembled at this point. Um, clear it up and uh, get a good view of everything. Now that I have this thing apart, you may be wondering, okay, what did I have planned? What was I going to do now that I have this apart? Well, I figured I'd do a little bit of painting, but I don't want to paint it in a way where the paint can rub off. I don't want to paint areas where you're just going to be grabbing it. So... I figured I'd paint um, around areas that uh, you don't necessarily grab. It'll be very, very subtle. I figured um, you'd give it to some Evercade colors. So really, I'm just going to be using uh, red. And this is this is the paint. I got these paint markers. Um, I really don't. It says it's for plastic. I tested it on the other Evercade. And um, it seems to work very well. But I'm not 100% sure if it'll rub off. Here, for example, on the back, always kind of bothered me that we can see lines here, but we can't see black lines here. So try and color some black in on there. Don't know how well that'll work out, but we'll try that. But other than that, I figure just kind of around these buttons, you know, I will just kind of uh, like just put some red around the buttons, but not on top. So that's what I'm planning on doing here. And I'm not going to uh, record myself doing the painting or anything, but... I will kind of cut back to what after I have put uh, the markers on because I just don't know exactly how I'm going to do that. It might be time consuming. Uh, so we'll pause the video for here. All right, I've got the whole thing put back together. Only a few screws left in, in the back there. And I was saying that <laughs> it's nice that all the screws are the same, but they weren't. Um, <laughs> these ones in the back were just a little bit thicker than the other ones. And uh, it wasn't enough for me to notice uh, at a first glance, but I sure did notice when I tried to put the bigger screw on in the inside, and I realized, oh, okay, I guess they are different sizes. Um, I did do a paint, some uh, painting on this thing with the markers I, I showed, and some other markers because apparently those mark the tips on those were too uh, thick for what I wanted to do. It didn't turn out as really as good as I even thought it was going to be, and I I didn't think it was going to look that good to begin with. I just wanted to do something. Um, the one thing that I, I do like, though, and this isn't perfect either, but you can see that I did manage to paint some black in here. Now, you're probably, from a distance, it looks fine. When you get up close, you can see the imperfections, but it's, I think it's better than just having it white. So um, I do like that. Uh, let me put these plugs in. I didn't know how it would look. I, I just wanted to do the outsides of the buttons in red and I kind of I was toying around with doing black on the bottom part and it's um it's livable it's not perfect or anything it's far from perfect in fact I just wanted to see what kind of effect that would have on this thing you know I could always take this thing apart and I could spray paint the whole thing another color if I really wanted to uh, I've done that in the past but um oh you know what this thing didn't clip all the way there we go <laughs> oops I accidentally turned it out while I was putting it together so I knew it worked but I just verify, plug the screen in right. And there it is. All the buttons are clicky like they're supposed to. Uh, they're hitting the right spots. And the speakers are hooked up correctly, although I didn't really take the speakers apart. So that means I didn't accidentally disconnect them. And the buttons all seem to be working. And why wouldn't they? Uh, again, this is just a huge experiment for me. I wanted a reason to take it apart. 
And uh, this was my reason. Now, uh, did I make it look worse? Probably. Who cares, though? It's mine. I could do what I want with it. Um, so, yeah, we'll leave it at that. And uh, just for the hell of it, I might uh, take apart the Evercade VS. I'm not going to paint it or anything and just take it apart because why not? Took this apart. Why not do that, too? So, see y'all next time. Bye. <laughs>